you can create the uh, presentations on your mobile on different uh, apps you can use the google slides you can use the microsoft powerpoint and you can also use the canva app but if you are an iphone user you can use the keynote app also to make the presentations in this tutorial i will be using the google slides so you can uh, download that um, app from your uh, app store or the google play store and follow along and once the app is opened you would see this kind of an interface here you would see all the existing powerpoints which we have already created since th we are creating the first presentation so that is why it is saying that there are no recent files to create the first presentation you can click this plus icon which is on the bottom right and it will open up a new presentation with the title slide so i can just double click on to this uh, title and I can add my title into this presentation. So after adding the title, um, you can modify the text by clicking this plus icon. And from the pop-up menu, you can select that whether you want to make it bold. You can increase the uh, text size. You can also change the font. You can also change the color of the text. And if I want to give a background to this text box that I can also do that by going on to this and selecting any text uh, box color and i can um, just click ok and uh, i can uh, change the theme of the presentation by clicking these three vertical dots and from the pop-up menu i can select change theme and these are the different themes that are available which i can select for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to select this theme it will apply that theme onto my presentation and uh, this blue font doesn't go well in with this scheme so i'm just going to change the color of the uh, text to white again so now this low text box we do not require so we i'm just going to long press this and i am going to delete this so now this uh, text box is deleted but if let's say we want to add something into this slide like the picture or a text box or a table or a shape for that i can click this plus icon and you can see that here all these options of adding the text the image the shape lines and tables are available so for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to add a circle in this presentation uh, i can just reduce the size of this circle and i can bring it towards the right side I can also change the color of this circle by clicking this uh, symbol and then going to the shapes and then clicking the fill shape and then selecting the uh, required color which I want to give it it and I can also change the color of the border just to show you that whether it is this border is visible I'm just going to select a shocking color uh, aesthetically it is not right but just to show you on this presentation that how would it look as you can see that i have added a circle with a different uh, fill and a different border now let's suppose our first slide is ready and we want to add another slide the addition of the other slide uh, you have to do it by clicking this bottom right plus icon once you will select that the open uh, it will open up a layout menu in which the different uh, slide layouts would be visible you can select any of these slide layout to add a new slide so i'm just going to select one column text i'll add this text and i'm just going to double click the first text box and i'm going to add my text here so i've just added the text uh, and now we do not require this lower text box so i'm just going to delete that we are going to move this text box uh, by first bringing it in the center and then bringing it towards the center of the slide if i want to format the text i can go on to the format uh, option i can uh, as i have already said that i can change the colors i can change the font type the font size i can make the text bold and now let's suppose we want to add uh, a image onto the right side of the presentation for that again we will have to go to this plus icon and from here i'm going to select the image and then i will have the option that i can select from the photos or from my camera roll so i'll just be back by selecting one of the picture so i've just taken a picture of my uh, 
camera roll and I've just added this picture over here as you can see that uh, there are options of uh, changing the picture uh, I can click this and I can also give the picture a border by giving it a some color for example if I want to keep the color as uh, the uh, yellow and then I can also change the border uh, line type now you can see that uh, this is uh, how you would be able to uh, add the uh, slides in your presentation so now if you want to see the uh, slideshow of your presentation you can just click this play button which is on the top once you will click that it will ask you that whether you want to present it on this device uh, you want to present in a meeting or you want to present to a scheduled meeting so we want to see on to this device so we will click this present on this device and you will see that our slide show will be uh, shown as uh, is visible over here now by doing the right or left swipe you can move on to the previous or on to the next slide i'm just going to get out of this uh, slideshow and i'm again back in my presentation with the help of uh, the mechanism which i have shown you you can create as many as slides you want to create so once you are done with your powerpoint presentation you would either like to save the presentation or you want to export that so for that you have to click these three vertical dots and here there is an option of share as and export now here you can straight away share with somebody uh, one individual you can click share and if you want to share with many people you can manage people and links you can copy this link and share this link with somebody you can send a copy uh, to someone uh, on social media or on your, or through the email or you can um, save this by clicking save as and then you will have these options you can save it as a powerpoint presentation you can save it as a pdf file you can save it as an open document plain text uh, the image format uh, that is jpg png and svg so but we will be saving it only as a powerpoint so i'm just going to click ok so in this way you will be able to save the powerpoint presentation the last thing which i would like to show you is that if you want to delete a slide you can uh, do that by long pressing the slide and then going on to either you can straight away press this uh, scissor icon it will uh, cut the slide and you can simply ignore that do not paste it anywhere uh, or you can go onto these three vertical dots and from there uh, you can click delete slide and in this way you will be able to uh, delete a slide if there is any query or a question uh, i'm sure there will be many there are so many options uh, which you have to use in the powerpoint presentation you can look for the small tutorials on to the uh, youtube but my aim was to give you a broader uh, uh, quick tutorial for the beginners that how you can create the presentation this time i have shown you in the google slides in the next tutorial i will be showing you how you can create it in the canva and subsequently i might uh, make these tutorials for the powerpoint and keynote if you uh, ask me in the comment section below in any case uh, thanks for watching like share and subscribe